Hey guys, Renee here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am a little bit close, a little bit different, because today I am going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. Now, I don't have much, but it is a mess. Like, you can't fully see it right now, but this, this is chaos. I don't like it and it is just getting ridiculous. I have books all over like the top, the table, the bench over here that I just have nowhere to put. So actually, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Do you see all this? Like, look, I have books like over there, all that. And then like over here we have more and it's just like all a mess. So it is my goal today to fix all this. Um, I don't know how this is going to look in filming because my bookshelves are short. I have very short shelves. So you might see me crawling around, but we're just going to do it. My plan is to come up with a better system for the books on my actual shelf. And then I also have bookends, actually this Amazon package up here, I don't know if you can see it, um, is my bookends because I want to start putting books up here to utilize space. So yeah, let's just get started. still have my Harry Potter books. No, I do not support JK Rowling. No, I will not be buying anything from her in the future to support her. But that being said, I do still have my Harry Potter books from when I was a kid. I've had these books since I was like a child. So I hope that that doesn't rub anybody the wrong way because I know, you know, JK Rowling's an awful individual, but you are gonna see them in this video, but I'm not gonna talk about them. So. I just wanted to preface that.
took a lot longer than I thought. Um, I think I'm okay with where the books are. So now I'm just gonna decorate a little bit. tapestry up there. I have like a moon phase tapestry I got from an Alcray box. So I want to put that up there and I also want to put my little pin holder right up there. But for now I don't have anything to mount them so I'm just gonna wait until I get something to apply them to the walls. So for now, da -da -da, I actually am quite content with how they turned out. Um, they are much more organized and I like that now all of my books actually have a place because my books were like just thrown everywhere so yeah uh, let me show you so yes I did kind of just want to go over like my thought process of this I'm not gonna do an actual tour but I just wanted to kind of go over like why I put things where because I feel like this only makes sense in my head so I'm actually gonna start with this section and these are all of my thrillers and horrors and everything for every section is in alphabetical order by author so it's not by height or anything like that or color because I am very much an alphabetized person and then these two are kind of awkward down there these are my books that I didn't really know how else to categorize them besides I don't know literary fiction I don't know what would you consider the night circus and midnight library I'm not quite sure um so I just put them at the end <laughs> And then this is my manga shelf. My manga shelf unfortunately is not that large um, because I am just now starting to actually buy manga. Now you probably also saw me fiddling because I definitely really wanted my um, Tomi um, facing out even though it's not my favorite Junji Ito book. I just like the cover of it the best. Uzumaki is actually my favorite but I wanted something horizontal on the shelf and I couldn't fit it until I made my favorite shelf and I was able to take orange volume one off. So that ended up working. And then under here is kind of my hodgepodge shelf. I have my comics, I have a bunch of random comics and then graphic novels starting from Marvel all the way over to Fangs. And then I just have a couple short stories and poetry collections and then my Shadow and Bone box set down there. You'll see like random crystals all throughout my shelf. I have crystals all around my house because I am a crystal person and this is actually my favorite one. It's Labradorite. So I have chunks of this all over the place. And then down to this side, this is actually my favorite side of the shelf. So this top shelf here is my um, subcategory shelf, I'm going to call it. Um, three of my favorite things to read about are witches, vampires, and mythology. And since I don't have a lot of physical books of those subcategories, I just put them all on one, on one shelf. So we have my witchy books, vampire books, and mythology based books all on one shelf. I was also able to put this print of Laszlo Strange and Sarai from Strange the Dreamer on here. I really wanted to display this and since I can't put it on my wall yet, I felt like this was the perfect empty spot to put it on my shelf because I absolutely am obsessed with that print. Um, and then I have my Selenite Tower. I felt like it was fitting to put it with my witchy books. So yeah. And then I have my romance shelf and then down here we just have a whole shelf of good old fantasy once again organized by author and with a little Argonite cluster down here so yeah that's pretty much um, this section of the shelf and then up here we have my favorites um, section so these are some all-time favorites of mine um, I almost didn't put From Blood and Ash up here because it's not technically like an all-time favorite, but it is a very strong five star that I really, really love. But like The Cruel Prince, Strange the Dreamer, Wicked Fox, Daisy Jones and the Six, Orange, like these are some of my favorite books of all time and I really love that I was able to face out Strange the Dreamer. Um, so yeah, and that's what I was trying to say earlier. 
moving orange up here i originally wasn't going to put any manga up here because i felt like junji ito could easily be up here too but putting orange up here made it possible to 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 put tomi outwards so it was like fine yeah those are my shelves and then i also just reorganized my little bench over here this took a lot longer than i thought considering how small my shelves are and i don't even have nearly as many books as other people i cannot imagine how long this takes for the people that have like a whole like room like wall in your room of like the tall shelves like wow so i'm just gonna slide on in here and hopefully this looks fine but i just wanted to close this out so yes this is, these are my new bookshelves you'll be seeing these more often in my videos feels so good to have them organized um, but that is pretty much all I have for you today. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below to help support this channel. And also subscribe if you'd like to follow me on my reading journey. Like always, all of my social media links will be down below. Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, The Works, if you'd like to follow me more closely there. And once again, I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!